What's up guys? Today we're going to be looking at the audio setup that we're currently using and uh, we're going to go through it. Uh, it should be a doozy. I'm going to try to do it in one take. Bear with me. Um, we've got three computers. We got two gaming computers and one streaming computer and uh, this is how we do our dual um, computer Twitch stream that we do every night and uh, this is how we have it set up right now. It's been a couple years in the making. We've had a lot of different setups, um, but this is the one that we're running with right now. And I would highly recommend it if um, you're interested in doing a dual stream um, or just gaming in general with your significant other like we do. It is something that we highly endorse. It's been really fun for us. Um, like I said, we stream every night. Feel free to come by and ask any questions related to it. Let's quickly get into this and try to knock it out. So uh, this microphone that I'm using right here, it's a Yeti microphone. Um, super standard she has the same thing and their USB mics plugged in directly to our gaming computers uh, so my mics plugged into my gaming computer her mics plugged into her gaming computer um, no, no mics are plugged into the streaming computer we are sending our microphone sound to the streaming computer using a program called voice meter banana and in that program you can set up a custom uh, VBAN and that is basically setting up voice over IP network internally on your network. So let's take a look at how to do that. It's super cool and it uh, it works really well. So we're going to look at my screen. Voice meter banana. Here it is. Um, when you first install it, it's not going to have anything set, set up here. So like this will be zero. Um, these You won't have any of these A1, A2, A3 setups or anything like that. How do you set that up, you ask? Well... Hardware input one is what we use for our microphones. So we, hardware input one, we select our Yeti microphone. Um, just, and um, so now we have our Yeti microphone set up to input one. A1, what is that? That is right here where you set it up and you connect your microphone to the cable input virtual audio cable. That is something that you install along with voice meter banana so from the website i'll link both things the voice meter banana and the cable input virtual audio cable that is essential for connecting your microphone to it and that's how the software sends the signal out so we have our microphone here specified and we have it set to a1 which is signifying this a1 cable input so we have our sound set up to send out now, how are we getting sound in, you ask? Well, hardware input two is what we're gonna use for that. Um, we're not gonna select any device here. Instead, we're gonna set this to A2 right here. A2 references this, A2. That is the speaker's high definition. That is your internal sound. That's what you hear through your headphones. So now we have it set up to where we have our microphone and we have our in, we have our incoming sound that we're going to capture through our headphones and i'll get i'll get into that exactly uh why let's go ahead and look at that now let's go ahead and look at that now so v band is what we're using v band that's your voice uh, over ip that you're setting up um for the hardware input two where we're hearing sound that is input destination two so let's let's explain that a bit so the incoming sounds we have an ip address for each computer for for this example let's use uh, my computer's gonna be called a judy can judy's computer's gonna be called j and the stream computer is gonna be called s so for incoming sounds i'm gonna type her um her ip address here 192.168.1.183 the stream name also does matter so judy to a so j to a that's also going to be set up on her computer in a second. I'll show you. So stream name J2A. That's Judy to Andrew. Sound. Um, IP address from this incoming streams. This is going to be from dot one eight three because on her computer instead of one eight six right here, it says one eight three. So all we're doing really now is we're attaching, we're plugging in wires from one computer to the other essentially virtually. Um, and on my computer, I'm going to. I uh, want to send the sound out, so outgoing streams. And um, how are we doing that? Well, we're gonna t we're gonna name it um, A to S, so that's Andrew to stream, and A to J, that's Andrew to Judy's computer. And so I'm sending my IP address out. That is the the no 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 no. 
on this one i'm i'm referencing her ip address so a to j 192.168.183 that is judy's computer's ip address so that's what we're referencing there for sending the, my signal to the stream computer we're going to reference 245 so on the streaming computer right here it'll say 245 we'll look at um her computer and the streaming computer in just a moment and like i mentioned how how that sound is being heard on my end i'm putting this to destination two and what that's referencing is this hardware input channel two so when she talks it's going to light up right here for me let me just run over to her computer so you can see that in real time uh check 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 hope it's showing up right there all right now i'm back so <clears throat> Now that we have the hardware input one where we're putting sound out, we have the hardware input two connected where we're hearing sound in. Um, let's take a look at Judy's computer and just reaffirm that that's the settings we have there as well. I'm gonna put her screen up and run over there. All right, so her settings are gonna look very similar to mine, except um, instead of 183 like I had, she's got 186 because that was what you saw on my screen right here um also uh her outgoing sounds um j2 stream it's gonna be the stream ip here which on the stream computer you can pull up i'll pull it up in a second you'll see it'll say 245 up here and of course she's sending outgoing stream to j2a and that is <clears throat> my ip address 186 and like i said these stream names do matter so on my computer as you saw um i had a to j for my um for my incoming stream is for my um for my connection to her computer where's her stream deck let's pull mine up real quick um you see that a to j for outgoing streams at the bottom for me outgoing stream was my second outgoing stream a to j let's look at her computer again incoming stream a to j so that's how you you link those things up the names do matter for those um and for her incoming stream the same thing here she set it to channel two so when i talk on my microphone she'll hear it right here the same thing I'm look at my screen again that's how you hear it check 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 so that's you're hearing her microphone on my channel two as i showed you earlier and um let's take a look at the stream computer let me go over to that We're back. Stream computer. Let's take a look. All right, here we go. Stream computer. Same setup here. You're hearing us through channel two. How are we doing that? Well, through VBAN, we have the incoming streams, J2S and A2S. Those are Judy's, Judy's to stream and Andrew to stream. And the IP addresses subsequently, this is my IP address. Uh, no, this is her IP address. This is my IP address. Like I said, we're just connecting all the wires virtually. And destination number two, we both have it. I have it set for both to show up on this hardware input two channel. Um, if I set, for example, A to stream input, if I set this to three, you would just hear it. You would see it light up here instead of right here. Um, so that's how those are configured. Let's take a look a little deeper at the drivers that are making all this stuff work because that is another very critical piece to this puzzle. Um, so we have a sound capture software. That's for the Elgato sound capture. We have an Elgato plugged into my computer and into the stream computer. And we also have a Elgato, a second Elgato plugged in from her computer to the stream computer. So that's sending the game sound over to the stream computer and um it is very important because the drivers can uh interfere with each other so you just make sure you have to make sure all this is set up correctly so for the sound capture um software we have the default devices checked here um you have to go to advanced settings to do this in the sound capture software for the elgato sound captures you download this as well from the elgato website and uh, so you set this as default and <clears throat> by default all of these will be set to mute where do you want to hear your audio They'll all be muted, so you won't hear anything. So you have to you have to determine which ones you want to unmute. So you're gonna to want to um, unmute the HD60S. That's the capture card. So that's how you're sending the sound out to the streaming computer. And you're also gonna to want to unmute 
the speaker's high definition. That's your internal sound. So that's how you're going to hear in your headphones sound. So once those two things are unmuted, this will be sending out to the streaming computer. You'll be hearing this on your headphones. The rest can remain muted. <clears throat> for recording, you're going to want to go into your sound options for your computer. And you're going to want to make sure these sounds are set. Um, these are like all your back end drivers. They need to be set up correctly so that the computer is uh, relaying information correctly. So on the recording tab here, Elgato Sound Capture, you want that to be set to ready. You're going to want to mute. Um, let's see, these are, these are irrelevant. I don't, I don't think you're going to have these. Um, but what's important is the cable output needs to be set to default device. And that's that virtual audio cable that you downloaded along with the voice meter banana. That is set to default device for recording. That's critical. Um, for voice meter aux output, you're going to disable that. For voice meter output, you're going to disable that. And for microphone, that is just your default communication device. <clears throat> that is this Yeti microphone that's plugged into the computer. That is your default communication device. That is critical that you have that set here for recording. For playback, you're going to want to set the any any like any other drivers like this is for the monitor the monitor has like speakers and whatnot you're gonna want to disable all that crap set the capture card this is the hg60s to ready here for playback you're gonna want to set the elgato sound capture um the, where it has the symbol here where it has the picture that's that's signifying that it's this software that should be set to default device and it should automatically when you set this default device checkbox here um the speakers internally just have that set to ready and um this is another internal sound thing just i have it set to ready you might not have that for your cable uh, vb cable for playback you just have that set to ready voice meter aux input ready voice meter input ready and for speakers microphone it's just set to ready um your drivers may vary but this is probably for the most part what most people are going to have driver wise um and this is these are really important that you have you know recording cable output needs to be default device microphone here needs to be default communication device so the that those two settings are really important and also the default device for elgato sound capture can be really important as well um uh for the for just for reference the the sound here on the computer is set to speakers elgato sound capture and that it's forced to because we have it checked here default communication device and default device playback forces it to be right here as speakers I got a sound capture if I try to change it it doesn't even let me because this software is forcing it to be there um, that's just how we have it configured you could probably do it a different way but that's how it is working for us um, I think that pretty much covers everything um, as I mentioned we do stream every night you could go way more complicated with this you could send sounds from the stream computer to the gaming computers um, you could set more variables up in here. Um, we have some settings here in, inside. We have like a, a noise gate. You can set compression. You can do all kinds of cool stuff in the software, but that's just, that's just more stuff, uh, not really related to setting up the connections to hear the sound. So if you have any questions about that stuff, just let me know. Uh, like I said, we stream every single night. Feel free to come by. We do highly recommend, um, couples gaming together. It is really cool. It is really fun. You meet a lot of people out there, especially right now when we're uh, kind of on like a lockdown situation. It's a really, really fun thing and way to talk to people. So feel free to come by. We stream every single night and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, guys.